about a year ago on Twitch, we came up with the idea to write a book on literally every algorithm in existence. Now, as someone who grew up wanting to become an author for most of his childhood life, this was an incredibly exciting prospect, and I really wanted to get it done, but I had no idea how to do it. My first thought was just to use pseudocode in the text, so that if anybody wants to learn an algorithm, they could basically just learn how to read the pseudocode I write, and there you go, they can learn the algorithm. But the more I thought about this, the less I liked the idea, and my community wasn't entirely on board. Instead, we came up with this idea to write a book on literally every algorithm in existence, using every single language possible. And that is something I could not do alone, so I've been relying on you guys to submit code to me for different algorithms so far. But the thing was, the format of the algorithm archive wasn't quite right. As we kept writing more and more, it kept becoming more and more obvious to me that the way that we were submitting code was simply not sustainable, and it wasn't really worthwhile to write code for a book if you have to scroll down the entire page in order to find the code that you wrote. So then we thought, hey, what if at the top of the page you check the language? So if you want C++, you get C++. If you want Fortran, I don't know, we give you a deck of punch cards or something. The idea is that you choose a language you want, and then all the code in the book changes based on that language that you want. This was, at least to me, not easy to do. I had no idea exactly how to get this done. But someone in our community did. And that person is, for my purposes, going to be called JSPP. First of all, because that's the moniker he goes by online. And second of all, because I really think I'm going to butcher his last name if I try to say it on video. Look at this amazing piece of art. You choose the language and everything changes for you. This is exactly what we wanted. But wait, there's more. We've also standardized the way that you submit code to the algorithm archive. Now, whenever you want to write code for a particular chapter, you simply go to the chapter that you want to write the code for, go to the code directory, create a directory for the language you want to submit the code in, and write your code there. Obviously, we still encourage submissions from all languages, so feel free to just write whatever you want. Then, if you want to go the extra mile, you can go to the markdown file for that particular chapter and update it with the language you just implemented. Note that the importing module can grab specific lines from any file, so if you write all functions for the text in the same file, you can choose whatever lines from that file you want to import for each in-text code block. This is pretty cool, and it means that for most languages, you only really need to write one file, and we just grab the appropriate lines from that file to put into the in-text code blocks. Now, I totally understand if you don't want to edit the markdown file for each algorithm. That said, if you submit code and I can't very easily parse this code into the in-text snippets we need for the algorithm, I might just put basic pseudocode in there for now. Um, now might be a good time to point this out, but for those who wrote code in, for example, Scratch or LabVIEW, first of all, thanks. Secondly, we might need a separate image for each constituent function, so for now, you guys have pseudocode. Throughout the next few weeks, I'll be going through and updating all current chapters with this language change. As another note, please use Git to send me code from now on. It's easier for everyone. In addition, this is a great intro project for all the tools you need to work on open source projects in the future. I even wrote an introduction to Git and version control for new folks, so I hope it helps if you're having trouble. I can also make a video on version control if you want, so let me know if you want that in the comment section below. So, now the foundations have been set, it's time. We can really start going through literally every algorithm in existence, and I've never been more excited for the future of this project. At the same time, we recently hit 10,000 subscribers, which is incredible to me. I mean, I know I've said this a lot, but you guys have fundamentally changed so much about the way I perceive the world around me that it is, quite frankly, astounding. I would be nowhere near the level I am today without your constant motivation to learn and teach topics that, quite frankly, I wouldn't have known about without you guys to help me along. So, before I end this video, I wanted to thank you guys again for watching, for commenting, for chatting on Twitch and Discord, and thank you most of all for the people who have contributed to the Algorithm Archive. You guys are seriously the best. and. As much as I've said it over and over and over again, I really think that this is one of the best communities on YouTube. Thanks so much for being a part of it. Oh, shoot. Another video without jokes. Uh, what do I do? Um, okay. Why do Java developers wear glasses? Because they can't see sharp. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, I'm leaving. Bye.